Good morning, happy Sunday. I'm starting off a weekly vlog with a nine to five, being a content creator, helping with endorphin social media and training for a marathon. Why not do all the things at once? It's 9 a.m. I'm about to go on a recovery run. I ran 15 miles yesterday and I was really tired because I got back from a trip Friday night, but I actually felt really good. And then I slept like a baby last night. I got nine hours of sleep and now we're up. I was just hanging on the couch this morning, not really doing much. And I'm gonna get out for a little shakeout. Okay, I am ready for my run now. I'm actually going to bring a grocery bag from Bagu and I put it in my spy belt. And I think I'm going to run and then go to Trader Joe's on my way home because that's about the distance. I'm going for like three-ish miles. And then when I get to Trader Joe's, I'll be right there, get some quick groceries, and then I'll just probably train home. And that's kind of ideal because it kills two birds with one stone. You got a recovery run and groceries. And I desperately need groceries. So I'll do a little haul when I get back. So slight change of plans. I went out for my run. I got two miles in and it started thunderstorming like I've never seen. These are sopping wet. I'm, I'm literally the wettest I've been in my life. I, so no Trader Joe's um, because I would have had to walk in there soaking wet. I'm gonna go do laundry now, which is on my list for today. So I guess this is forcing me to do the laundry and then shower because, well, I kind of already took a shower, but like actually wash my hair. So that was fun but we got four miles done just way faster than I wanted to. I showered and I tried to do laundry and neither of the laundry machines on my floor are working, so maintenance is coming to fix them. So we're holding on that. So I am doing my usual Sunday like content batch. I am currently editing a weekly recap for TikTok. I am thinking about what I need to make this week and what needs to get done, if I have any partnerships, etc. And then I said in the intro, but I've been working with Tyler and helping with the endorphin social media content. So I've been helping to plan that. So that's also on the docket. So I literally just sit in this position for probably upwards of an hour and a half and just like crank out a bunch of to-dos. But it's really satisfying once you get it all done. So I'm just gonna sit right here. It's somehow 4 p.m. I swear I've moved. I did laundry. I went for a walk. I did not get to Trader Joe's. It's fine, we'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow I am working West Coast hours, which gives me the entire morning until like 11, which is honestly great because I can get to Trader Joe's. I've got a coffee in the morning with somebody. So kind of ideal to know ahead of time because sometimes I don't know ahead of time and then it's just annoying. I have a four o'clock meeting with Tyler for endorphin stuff. So I'm about to hop on that and then make dinner. But I don't know where the day went. I like edited stuff and then it was like, oh, it's 4 p.m. So I'm sure that happens to a lot of other people, but it's definitely giving a stormy, like hibernation kind of Sunday. I have no desire to do anything else. I can't figure out how to set up in my bathroom without knocking a million things over, but this is uh, what we're gonna have to deal with right now. I'm just about to do my evening skincare and I had my meeting with Tyler, it went great. Lots on the content docket this week. And then what else am I doing? I'm gonna eat dinner very soon. I'm getting kind of hangry. And I have another meeting with endorphins possibly at seven with all of the city leads. So that'll be fun. And I might get ice cream tonight cause I'm kind of in the mood for it. And uh, we're gonna see. But also I just realized that I've changed like four times today and I've also showered technically three times cause I showered in the morning when I woke up cause I just felt gross. Then I took a literal rain shower while I was on my run and then I showered after I got back from my run. My shoes are still drying. I put them in the dryer and they're still drying. It's just been a lot. And it's getting to that Sunday scary time of like when it crosses the 6 p.m. mark and you're just kind of like, yep, the week is coming. There's no more avoiding it. But I do feel good about what I got done today. I feel like made good progress on everything. So hopefully the scaries aren't too bad. 
I'm having one of my favorite dinners. It's kind of random. I've posted the entire recipe on my TikTok before, but it's one of these better bagels that I had after my run the other day. I sometimes have them for lunch, but it has the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel smoked salmon, cream cheese, egg, and like microgreens. And then I'm having a side salad with rice, broccoli, and chicken has all the components of a necessary meal and it's so freaking good. I'm like addicted to it. I honestly would eat it every single night. Good morning. Happy Monday. And it's going to be a Monday. We got a lot going on today. Starting off with endorphins, of course. I'm ready to go on my run. I'm feeling really cute today in my outfit. I decided to go for the Outdoor Voices skirt. And it's one of my favorite things to run in. And I just love it a lot. So that's a fun way to kick off a Monday. I am about to run up to Pier 45 and I'm gonna do our regular five miles, come back. I actually have coffee with my friend Sherbin this morning. So I'm going to do that and I'm working West Coast today. So I probably won't log in to work until 11-ish. Um, and that's usually when my team starts to log in. So I'll work from like 11 to 7, 7.30. Um, so we'll see how I'm doing at 7, but I'm feeling great right now. I got a great night's sleep. It's hopefully not going to rain on our run today. I head up to the pier and then I'll see you at coffee. We're at coffee with Sherman. He's teaching me how to grow my YouTube channel. <laughs> that's what we need. The question is, in 30 days, if you're gonna do any yes, I am. I'm <laughs> holding myself accountable with this video now. I am walking home from coffee with Sherman. Went so well. I feel like he lit a fire under my ass to like get my shit together on YouTube. So that'll be fun. It's a weird morning. It definitely looks like it's gonna storm. And I look a mess. I haven't had coffee and I need it. Um, and I'm gonna try and find a city bike to hop on so I can get home faster. Cause I'm like, two and a half miles from home and I don't want to get on the train so I'm going to try and ride a bike. I didn't end up taking a city bike. I did walk all the way back which was such a time suck. Like I have things to do. I can't just be like walking an extra two miles but I did. I'm going to put you down because I just know it's going to be so rainy later and I was like I don't want to leave my apartment again. So I just walked home and it was honestly really nice. Like the weather was nice. It can tell it's gonna storm, but like it's not yet. And it is now 1044. So I am going to log in right after I shower. My team hasn't pinged me yet. Feeling good. It's only 10, 7, 740 something in Pacific Coast time. So I feel fine. And I'm gonna make a to-do list for today. <sighs> Start of the week. It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a good one. I'll show you guys how I structure my actual work days and like my to-do list vibe, but I really need to hop in the shower. Getting some behind the scenes action right before I go in the shower though, I was editing my TikTok while I was on my walk. Saved so much time, so I have to just do my voiceover now. So you're getting a little sneak peek. All I do is edit in the InShot app, upload all my clips, piece them together. I make it like a minute to a minute and a half long if it's like a morning vlog. And then I add some text on the screen. I upload it to the TikTok app, add some text on the screen. And then I literally just hit record and I do a voiceover like this. And it takes me, I don't know, a minute. I try to do it in one take and sometimes I get nervous and I don't do it in one take, so we'll see. Uh, this is kind of embarrassing, but here we go. It's a Monday morning vlog. With me in New York City running 10 miles in a skirt, which is my absolute favorite thing. 45, see, I fucked up and now I have to restart. Okay, whatever, I'll get it done eventually. My first meeting of the day is done for my corporate job. Uh, it's 1.30. I had lunch, I've had two Diet Cokes, and now I'm trying to clean up my kitchen. I really try to clean as I go during the day, but it's a whole mess right now. I haven't even emptied the dishwasher from last night. 
as I was making my to-do list, I realized how random my to-do list is. And I normally used to be a paper planner to-do list person. And now I literally do it all on my phone, whether it's either in Notion or in the notes and reminders app. And sometimes I'll use my iPad, but recently I've just been using my phone. It's easiest, it's always on me and it connects to my laptop. So like if I have a note on my phone, it's also on my laptop with the cloud. Don't ask me how the cloud works, but it works. And so I basically just make a list in the notes app and that's where it lives. I have my groceries in there. I have other random notes in there. And then the reminders app is literally my Lord and savior. Like I could not operate without the reminders app. And I think it is such an underrated organization app. I feel like people are like, oh, what app should I get for this? Or should I get this from I'm like, no, no, the app that comes on your iPhone, game changer. I have a reminder for everything post this, take this medicine, don't forget about this tomorrow, do this tomorrow, do this in an hour. I literally am like, hey Siri, oh no, it's gonna come, never mind. And okay. it's, I just yell at her at all day and I'm like, hey blank, remind me to do this in an hour. Remind me to do this tomorrow. I just remember that I need to tell my mom something. And I was like, hey, remind me in an hour to text my mom. Like constant and then it just comes up on my phone it's right there i can move them around honestly if you're not using the reminders app this is your sign it's 5 40 i'm listening to chicks in the office podcast but i just want to give an update okay. because i'm about to make dinner i have a meeting at 6 30 here 3 30 pacific so i'm about to try and make dinner really quick between these meetings but i've just been sitting on this couch for hours on end this is how the day's going, but we knew it was going to be like this because I committed to working West Coast hours today. So we have not too long left. I have two meetings, 6.30, 7, and then 7 to 7.30. We can do it. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It's like 5.45. And I'm just sitting here trying to get my water in. I've been really trying to have water before coffee every single morning and I always eat with coffee as well and here's where I'm at there's a track workout this morning and I I don't think I'm gonna make it to the track I'm gonna do the workout but just not at the track with Brooklyn Track Club I'm just feeling like it's kind of a hassle to get over there I'm fully making excuses right now but it's disgusting outside it looks like I have to city bike over there or run over there. N neither sounds pleasurable at the moment. And I can just do the speed workout on my own. Um, and yeah, so that's just where I'm at. So I'm just gonna rot on this couch for like another probably hour, get some food and coffee, and then I'll go out and do it on my own. But uh, yeah, we're checking this. Also, this is my absolute favorite water bottle in the entire world. I know people love their Stanleys, but this is the simple modern line, I think. It's so good, it doesn't leak, it's massive. I fill it up and it lasts me for so long. I highly recommend. I stopped procrastinating and I finally got ready to go on my run. It's a speed work day and I will be procrastinating because I'm once again working West Coast hours today, so I have time. It's only 8.30, so I'm like, I did my compression boots. I just kind of like chilled. And one thing about me is I can procrastinate. Like if there's no deadline or somewhere to be for a run, I'm just like, mm, it's fine. But we're about to get out for speed work. I have it programmed into my Garmin. I'm deciding whether or not I wanna do the Brooklyn Track Club workout or the Hanson speed workout that's part of my marathon training plan. Both are the same dif distance with the warm up and cool down. It's about nine to 10 miles. The Hanson's one is mile repeats with jog rest and Brooklyn Track Club is 1000 meter repeats. 
I don't know what sounds worse. I mean, 1000 sounds better because the distance is shorter, but there's more of them and they both have jog rest. So like, I'm just gonna do the warm up and then literally decide once I'm done with the warm up. And I also today, I'm going to add something to my to-do list and that is clean slash purge. And by clean, I mean like tidy. My apartment is clean. I don't need to like dust or vacuum. I mean like get rid of shit. My closet is overflowing. I need to just start like a fall purge. So that is on my to-do list today. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to make it happen today because of work, but I'm gonna like just try and do some bits and pieces here and there and start a donation box because I have so many things that can be donated and I just don't need them all. And I have so many hats and they're overflowing. And I have a weird thing about hats where if they don't look right on my face or my head, I just don't wanna wear them. So I have these ones, I'll show you. I have these ones from like Dirty Bird and um, I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'm not even gonna try. C, C, C clay, C lay, I don't know. Um, but they look like this and they have like a flat brim and they just do not look correct on my head. So I have this one. I have one from Cody's Run Club, Cody Co. Does not look right. These are made for males or females that can rock them, but not for me, that's for sure. Love my Cody Trains shirt that I have, but this hat's not gonna work. That can be donated. I have one from the Brooklyn Mile, same thing. So those all need to just be like gone from my closet because they just stress me out. And my closet looks like this. Like, can we not? I just have so many things. Like these are all running shorts. And I do wear a lot of them. These are all leggings gearing up for fall. I just need to do a little perch. So that is on the agenda for today. Finishing up the speed workout right now. Doing the cool down mile. Don't skip your cool down. But that was probably one of the toughest workouts I've had in a long time. I really struggled, really had to motivate myself. We got it done. And that's literally all I can say right now. I was saying though, I do appreciate finishing these really tough workouts. Any run feels good to finish, but something about finishing a really hard one where you didn't want to do it, where it was really tough. It just feels so good to get it done. I'm so confused how it's 4.30 p.m. Remember when I said, I wanna clean today and like purge things? No, I have not moved from my work laptop, which is fine. That's my job, but it's been nuts today. So we are adjusting. We're gonna move some to-dos from today to tomorrow and we'll clean when we wanna clean. It's fine. It's not like it's the number one thing that needs to get done, but holy, it's just been crazy. I did order a new pair of shoes from Nike. Me complaining about having too many things and then ordering shoes, mm-hmm. Uh, but they're the structure 25s, but they're the black ones because I've been loving them and I wanted to get them in black so that I can match them with all of my outfits. And I would like to go and pick those up this afternoon. I ordered them to a location that's just like a 20 minute walk from me. So I might try to get those tonight, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time. I have like a 30, no, I have a 45 minute window between this next call and the next one. So I might be able to just get in there. We'll see. I would just like to get that pickup out of the way. Um, but it's just been nuts. And that's why my to-do list is not set in stone. I basically have like a priority of like these things have to get done today. These things could get done today. And these things can get done whenever. And I just try to get all the ones that say have to get done today, done. Um, like I had some editing that had to get done because it was a brand deal. I had a couple of other things, like I had to call my doctor, like those things needed to get done today. And I have checked almost all of them off, but like pick up Nike shoes, that doesn't need to happen today. It just needs to happen before Friday. Cause that's when they'll stop holding them for me. 
So we'll see, but I just try to be super flexible when it comes to to-do lists because you just never know how the day is gonna go. I thought I was gonna have so much free time today and I have not. Somehow it's um, 8.30 p.m. and I've ended up with an ice cream sundae and no Nike shoes because I didn't go. I got off my work calls at eight. I immediately just went to go get ice cream. I had a frozen Trader Joe's meal for dinner while I was on a call and this was calling to me and I feel good about it. So tomorrow I'll be getting the shoes and doing the other things on my to-do list. I actually am working East Coast hours tomorrow for once. So I'm going to not go to Dirty Bird Run Club in the morning that I usually go to because it's going to absolutely pour down. And instead I'm just gonna work in the morning, get off, and then I'm gonna go to the evening Central Park workout with endorphins, which will be fun. Don't normally run in the evenings, but might as well, especially if it's not gonna be pouring down rain then. And I'm gonna try and get to Trader Joe's. All in all, an absolutely hectic day with the nine to five, but ended on a good note with this. Good morning, everyone. It's a Wednesday. Um, it's almost 7 a.m. I slept in a little bit because I knew I wasn't going to Dirty Bird Run Club. And good thing I didn't wake up because Dirty Bird Run Club got canceled because of the weather. It's so nasty outside, let me show you. It has been, you can't really see, but it's been like the craziest thunder and lightning I've seen. And I woke up and I checked the time and I took my sleeping mask off and it was just the craziest flashes of lightning. And I was like, oh God. And then I checked my phone and I saw the run club. They were like, too high of risk, go back to bed. Um, so it worked out in my favor because I already wasn't really planning on going, but now I'm just do the evening workout. My first meeting today isn't until nine. And my challenge is to eat breakfast right now and try to get to Trader Joe's when it opens at like eight-ish and get my groceries before work. That's, that's the goal. I made it back. I'm looking a mess. I am also wet because it started raining on my walk back, but I'm listening to a work call right now uh, while I, oh my God, I just had a heart attack. I thought I wasn't on mute. Whew. I'm listening to a work call right now while I get back. I was listening to it on my walk home, which is a hack when I don't have to speak. It really helps. So I'll do a really quick haul. I got kale. A lot of greens. I really like the greens at Trader Joe's and I find them to just be like easy. I got some like ready veggies and this like crunch mix. I got a salmon filet. Might have this for dinner. Some seasoning, some feta cheese. This is my absolute favorite smoked salmon ever. I love these chicken cilantro wontons. I got some more rice because I was completely out and these make it so easy. Some microgreens. One thing about me, I'm not Gordon Ramsay, nor am I ever trying to be. I need easy, protein, carb, fat, easy. I also saw these and they're new to me, root vegetable fries. And I am not normally one for like healthy fries, but they actually look really good. So I'm gonna try these, maybe with the salmon, could be good. I'm literally just like stuffing everything in the fridge. This bag is so wet. I am just so happy to have gotten that done and out of the way because the amount of times I said I was gonna go to Trader Joe's in the past like four days is insane. So I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna now sit down on my computer, finish this call and answer more emails, do more work things. Made it to 5 p.m. Workday's over, meeting dinner. I'm not having the salmon that I bought at Trader Joe's, I'm gonna have it later. But I'm here to record because the workday's over. I had a really stressful nine to five day and then I'm going to this run tonight and I was kind of dreading it because like I don't normally do runs in the evening, but that's besides the point. I just found myself sitting here eating and I was scarfing down dinner as if I've never eaten before in my life. 
And I just needed to remind myself to just like take a deep breath. It's fine. If I get to Central Park five minutes late, it's not the end of the world. I just need to like take a chill pill. And sometimes you just need those like moments to reset. I actually might use the Peloton app right now to do like a meditation. And now I have the hiccups. But I think it's important to just like take a second and just like slow down. So that's what I'm doing, especially when you're eating and not just like scarfing it all up. Just take a deep breath. I'm excited for the run tonight, although it's kind of out of my routine. Sometimes that's what you need to like switch it up. So we're gonna get some tempo miles in. It's gonna be a good one. I'm looking forward to it, but I just wanted to say, if you're having a stressful day, just slow down a little bit. We've made it back. It's 8.50 p.m. and I'm not in bed. This is so unlike me and anyone who's watching this probably like this girl is a psycho because nobody goes to bed before 9 p.m. I do, but I went to the Central Park evening workout and honestly, it was so fun. I spent so much time like worrying that I was gonna feel like shit the whole workout and I felt great. Um, I honestly hit the pace exactly that I wanted to hit. I went for tempo marathon goal pace and it was mile repeats. I felt strong the whole time. I didn't have any stomach problems because I was really worried about like dinner not settling right, but I felt great. The only downside is I don't understand how people do evening workouts because I'm so wired right now. I have no desire to go to bed and I'm going to Prospect Park in the morning for a morning run. I'm like, I'm gonna have to go to sleep and I just feel like I'm ready for another workout. Also, it's so pretty outside. Um, but the park was so pretty. I love running there. It was so much fun. I didn't really film while I was there because I was running marathon goal pace, but I'm about to hop in the shower and hopefully try to go to bed within the next hour. But I do need to eat something protein that's not gonna like heat me up. I don't really know what that is, um, but we'll figure that out. I just like, I don't get how people do this regularly. The very first thought I had when I woke up this morning was, Thank God tomorrow is a rest day. It's Thursday. It's like 6.15 a.m. and I'm going to an endorphins run in Prospect Park. It is an easy, easy, easy day. And I always feel like this on a Thursday. I just feel like, yep, I need the rest day. And that is exactly why I planned a rest day for Fridays. And it's literally the best day of the week. So, getting ready right now. I'm gonna go meet Kate downstairs neighbors and it works out really well so we're gonna go meet and they meet in prospect park and i've never run in prospect park before and i'm actually really excited about it and i've been telling sammy from endorphins that i was gonna go to this run for like weeks on end and i'm finally going i did have to switch up my schedule a bit do the tempo yesterday we're doing an easy recovery day today so i've uh, got a lot going on but i'm excited to be there but i am excited to rest as well my skin has been acting crazy this week. I don't exactly know what's going on, but somebody did leave me a comment the other day that said, I always see an uptick in like acne and just like skin doing weird things during marathon training. And I'm assuming it has to do with the sweat. Also, I know my skin is not bad. That's not what I'm saying. But for me, there's some like, things coming up that just don't normally come up. And for somebody who has had lucky enough to have had clear skin for quite some time, any non-clear <laughs> things just, I get confused. I normally just do vitamin C and sunscreen um, in the mornings. And I really have been trying to wash my face immediately after sweat. Even if I don't wash my hair right away, I really try to wash my face. And I think I have seen a difference this week when I've been prioritizing doing that because last week was definitely worse. This is the vitamin C serum I really like to use. I've repurchased this probably six or seven times. It's the Youth to the People 15% Vitamin C and Caffeine Energy Serum. It's really good. And then I followed up with a sunscreen I need to replace this. I don't know how to pronounce this brand. Innisfree? Innisfree? I don't know. It's really cheap, but it's really good. And if I'm not using that, I'll use the Dermalogica 
one, um, but it's just an F SPF moisturizer. Don't really do anything else in the mornings. I am also not one to wear makeup on a run. However, if I need to look like I didn't just like wake up from the dead, I usually will at least brush out my eyebrows and maybe put on like a tiny bit of blush, but that's it, and chapstick. This is my favorite blush, it's the Tower 28 one. <coughs> what the hell? But it's a cream blush, and it just blends so well, like, this looks crazy, hold on. Trust the process, it literally like, is like second skin and then it just doesn't look like a psycho clown but it does the job I decided to put on some concealer because it's one of those days where this is gonna make me annoyed all day so I'm just covering it up even though when I get back from this run I'm gonna shower and probably redo this I think I'm just gonna do a regular ponytail today with a bubble braid because I'm trying, I washed my hair last night after the Central Park run, and so I, my alarm's going off, that scared me. It's 6.30, so that tells you that I normally sleep in on Thursdays. Anyways, I think I want to do just a regular ponytail today because since I washed my hair last night, I don't want to have to wash it again when I get home from this run, unless something crazy happens, and that means I don't want to put it in braids because it will be a whole mess if I do. So I'm just trying to get the ponytail in check. Bubble braid is so easy. You literally just take mini elastic elastics and just go down your hair and make bubbles. Also, one of my new favorite products is this day styling cream for my hair when I've been doing my like um, twist braids. That has been such a game changer of getting everything like slicked and just looking in place. I'm also working East Coast hours today. So I gotta be back. There is no way I'm gonna be able to wash my hair and log into this call that I have. So uh, we'll definitely just be taking a quick little body shower and calling it. That is not my best, but it's gonna have to do. It just stays right out of my way, which is exactly what I need. I am just on my way back from Prospect Park. It was so much fun. The weather is stunning. I got a 10 out of 10 weather today. And it was five and a half miles, straight hills, but I had a really fun time and I'm really glad that I went and woke up for it. However, I am now scrambling because it's 8.30 and I have a meeting at nine. So I'm gonna rush back and probably look like this on the call, but I just won't have my camera on. Seems like I'm saying this every single day, but we've somehow made it to five o'clock. So I'm done for the day. I have like two more emails to send and then I'm gonna log out. And I'm finally gonna go to Nike to pick up my shoes. And I also really wanna start editing this vlog that you're watching tonight so that I don't have as much to do this weekend. I also just got a very exciting package. This is not gonna be exciting for anybody else, but I got some more toe socks for running. They are the best. If you don't want blisters, get yourself some toe socks. The ones that I have are the, in, I'm not gonna try to say this brand, but I have them on my Amazon storefront. I love them. And I got a pack of two, so I'm geared up for this weekend. Um, but it was a, another work day filled with back-to-back -back hauls. Like I, I, I haven't even looked at my phone. I have like 107 unread messages from God knows what. I, I don't know, but work comes first and uh, we're gonna get out for a little West Side Highway walk because it is a 10 out of 10 weather day. The shoes have been picked up and I cannot even express how beautiful of day it is. And it's days like these where I'm like, I cannot believe I live here. It is just insane. It's not too hot. It's so sunny. Everyone's just in the best mood. 10 out of 10. So I feel like this is a good time to point out the fact that I walk so much here and take the train, but mostly the walking and how much I can get done in terms of work and content on my phone when I'm walking from place to place or sitting on the subway. Like I will probably do 70% of my like editing, responding to emails, 
all of those things while I'm on a walk because it just makes the time fly by and it's like so easy to just like respond to things on my phone. I'll also sometimes do like regular work emails or I will take a call if I don't have to turn my camera on, I'll take a call while I'm on a walk. But this is an underrated way to just get things done. I know some people like to like fully unplug while they're walking somewhere, but this is different from like a hawker walk. This is just like, I'm going somewhere and I can get work done. I just edited a reel that went up. Like so many easy things that I can do on my phone while I'm going somewhere. Got the shoes and I got another package. I think I know what this one is. I'm pretty sure it's running fuel. Yeah, this is the Science in Sport Energy Gels. And I got a variety pack because I had no idea which flavor I would want. But if you've been following my marathon training series, there's four episodes out right now. And the last one was all about fueling. These are the gels that the New York City Marathon actually uses on the course. So I'm going to try these out during my long run to see how I like them. Because then I don't have to carry fuel with me on the actual marathon day. Well, I probably will. But it'll be nice to know that I can grab that on the course and not have to worry about having enough and then i just got the nike structures in black probably wear these on saturday as well for the long run just testing all the things out but i absolutely adore these i have them in the pink purple color just wanted to get them in black so i have more to match with that's all nothing too crazy good morning happy friday tgif i cannot say that enough um, I feel like every Friday I'm like, oh, thank God. But today, I really mean it. Um, I have spent the morning editing this vlog that you're watching, and I'm really happy with the progress I've made on it. It should be up soon. And also, I'm really happy with the amount of footage I had, because as I was editing, I was like, wow, this is going to be a long one, which has been a goal of mine. And a lot of you guys were asking for longer vlogs, so here we are. But Friday is a rest day from running. I'm about to go on the Peloton. Before I start work, it's 8 a.m., I got a little reminder on my Peloton app to say your class is starting in 15 minutes because I scheduled a class on the app, which is a really great hack if you're like lacking motivation. It'll little send you a little reminder being like, hey, you scheduled this class. Even though it's not live, it kind of feels like it is and it feels like you have to do something. So I'm about to get on the bike. I've definitely been lacking cross training. Um, so this is a good one. And then I'll try to do like a 10 minute core class maybe just because I really told myself I was gonna do two strength training this week and that did not happen yet, but the week's not over. So I can do it today and I can do it Sunday and that's twice that I have committed to myself. So even if I do a 10 minute core, I think I'll feel a lot better, but I have oatmeal on my shirt. As I was editing this vlog, I was like, how do I always have food on my face or like something wrong? I don't understand. I'm about to get on the bike and then we're gonna have a good Friday. The way that I just felt during that strength workout just tells me that I need to continue doing strength workout and not skip it. So that's one done for the week. My goal was two, so I will try to do one on Sunday. Feeling really good. I'm gonna take a quick shower and then log into work and I'm just so happy that it's Friday. And I took a strength class with Rad after a Cody ride and it was the Katy Perry ride and I was literally cracking up the whole time. I always post on my Instagram stories like the classes that I'm taking if you're ever curious. Um, but it's just, that was, that was a good ride. You know, the ones that just make you laugh, but also make you work hard. That was, that was that. And it's now Friday evening and I just spent a solid chunk of hours editing this vlog that you're watching right now. And it is already like 40 some minutes long. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to wrap it up here. It's Friday night. I'm going to have some pre long run ice cream tonight. And then we got a long run tomorrow, but I'm gonna start off a new vlog. There'll be a new marathon training series video also coming very soon. Q and A coming soon. If there's any other type of content you want me to film, please let me know. I'm really trying to be good about this whole YouTube thing and I'm absolutely loving it and just love connecting with you guys on here. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe so you do not miss the next one and I will see you very soon.